Okay, so before we start the video, which I've already edited and just gonna tell you up front, it's a little bit of a hodgepodge. We just hit 100 subs. So I wanna say thank you for everyone that hit subscribe. Um, I think it's really cool. Also, Richard, thank you uh, for bringing the channel some street cred with the eighth mile and quarter mile stuff. Um, I love turning a wrench and it's great to know how, it's a great skill, but where the rubber hits the road is at the track whenever you can show someone that this adds horsepower because my time went down, my mile per hour went up, or whatever the case. So thank you and I'm gonna pass it over to Richard. What's up guys? Um, uh, driving me crazy not being able to go to the track. Um, not having any track footage or time slips or adrenaline running through my veins. So this is a little bit of off-season inspiration. Uh, the first car I want to show y'all is a good friend of mine. His name is Dustin. It's a red hatchback and uh, this car really rips. Um, he is a, he's a good example of a budget 5.0 racer. Uh, he runs a stock bottom end, and when I say that, you know, stock block, I don't mean just the block. I mean, he runs old, uh, you know, F-150 motors, uh, Mustang motor, Explorer, you know, whatever he can get his hands on. Um, he'll put a set of heads, he'll put his heads and his intake on there, and uh, a little bit of um, atmospheric assistance, and uh, the car is, uh, it runs well into the sixes. Um, it's real strong. Anyways, he he uh, he's done a good job with the car. He's put his work in. I've seen him down there on bad nights and on good nights, and he's uh he, he'll hang in there and he'll figure it out. Um, and uh, anyway, he's he's uh he's he's reaping the rewards of that car. So he's just good, just a good example that you don't have ton, you don't have to have tons of money in the bottom end to make one of these old five O's go. Um, so, anyways, here's a clip of his car, or you know, a couple. Hope to get some more, and especially as the season comes back around, we get to hang out a little more. And uh, I'm just looking looking forward to the track to open. This next car, uh, speaking of stock, you know, Dustin's car is stock bottom end. Um, this uh, little white coupe, it's an 80 model. Um, you know, it's an early Fox. It's um, stock cam. It's got a set of iron GT40P heads. Um, and it's carbureted. And this car uh, runs, it's a solid seven second car. Um, you know, um, I've seen them run 780s, uh, 770s on on a, a night where the prep wasn't really good. So it, it, it's even quicker than that with good prep. <clears throat> uh, but anyways, this is a, just kind of a good example of uh, testing and tuning and working with what you have. Um, like I said, uh, I raced them one night. It was uh, after I put the 456s in my car, and uh, I really thought it was going to be a close race. And it wasn't, it was not at all. I got skunked by a stock cam stick car. I mean, he beat me. I've got 125 shot. I've got 456s in my car. I thought, surely I can run with this guy. And uh, he got me. So, uh, good for him. <laughs> That's bragging rights, man. You beat a car with nitrous. Um, but anyways, yeah, just, just, just let you know, man, you don't have to have uh, tons of money in your stuff to make it run good and make it run right. So he's a good example of that. Um, he he has put the time in. He's turned the wrenches. He's been around, he's been around for a while. Um, he uh, he used to race back in the '90s too when it was really hot uh, with the five O's. Um, and he's back. He's back after a hiatus. And uh, this little car it really rips.
okay. Uh, as you know, Richard and Richard and I were at Dino Day. It was a blast. Uh, I put my car on the rollers. It didn't do as good as last year. I went from an E cam to an F cam, and it did worse. Not because the F cam is worse, but because I showed up all willy nilly, thinking uh, or hoping that the carburetor was going to be close enough. At cruising, it runs a little bit rich. Um, but when you get on it, wide open throttle, it, it's pretty good to about, I think, 4,000. And then it starts to go lane. I wouldn't, I'll put a clip in and you can kind of see what it's doing. Um, so there's more to do on the, on the car. Uh, news update, Richard found a 750 for me. So I want to get that here in a little bit and um, clean it up and throw it on. And we'll see what the butt dyno says. And hopefully, I'm, I'm not going to make any promises but hopefully I can take it to the dyno. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the clip now. All right, so you saw that it was running lane um, into the 14s. Uh, Johnny was like, was telling me that it needs to be, you know, 12 and a half is usually target AFR. Um, so we didn't, I didn't want to run it again. I didn't want to hurt the car. Um, and there's a lot, you know, there's plenty to do. Um, one thing I do want to say is going to the dyno day was awesome. I got to meet the 5 Tussin crew. Everyone was talkative. No one was standoffish or looking at anyone sideways. It was, it was a really good time to meet those guys and just, you know, everyone was talking each other's ear off. It was a good time. And, um, I don't know if this is the end of the video. So, all right, guys, let me give you a rundown on my combo. It's uh, a stock bottom end 302. Um, it's been freshened up. It's got um, uh, rings and bearings in it, uh, new rings and bearings, uh, but it's, just, it's all original stuff. Uh, it has an old set of twisted wedge heads. Uh, it's, it's also got a B303 cam and a system max intake. Uh, let's see, 75 millimeters throttle body and 75 millimeter um, mass air sensor and 24 pound injectors uh, long tube headers um, and you can see I've deleted the power steering and the air conditioning on this car um, it's it's a really fun car it's geared 410 uh, on the way to the dyno it got almost 19 miles to the gallon and I was running on average about 77 miles an hour um, so it's 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 proved to be a dependable car and a lot of fun. It's, it's come a long way since it was stock. Um, when I first bought it, it was it was bone stock with 273. So it's it is a lot more fun now. Uh, well, me and Betsy Blue, uh, we made it back from Dino Day. Uh, went from Northeast Alabama down to Crestview, Florida, then over to Panama City and back home. And old car did good. Um, the uh, throwout burn's not too happy with me, uh, but that's my fault, and and I knew it was uh, kind of hollering at me. But anyways, uh, car made it there and back, uh, got decent gas mileage, uh, absolutely way better than my truck. Uh, it put down 320 at the wheels on my first pull. <laughs> And just for giggles, I was like, let me pull the air filter and see what it's worth. Uh, with the air filter pulled, it made another three horsepower. So 323 was my high number. And uh, David promptly beat that number um, by five horsepower. And uh, he's not even done tuning his car yet. So science for the win. He, he beat me with a stock cam. Um, I figured uh, me being able to rev a little higher, um, would uh would be to my advantage you know having a, having a bigger cam uh but you know he's got a really efficient setup on his car and uh it's just really impressive um so thank you for inviting us uh mad porter uh appreciate it um ray and i had a great time and uh it's just something really good to do in the off season um and you know if it rains it don't matter because you're inside so uh just thanks again to david uh it was really cool we got to see him and um we got to see the whole uh you know 50 tussin crew 
Uh, I got to see Kevin and Brad, Big Block Kyle, um, Pirate. Um, it was just, just a really, really good time. Uh, glad Rodney came. Uh, he made it a lot of fun. He brought the van. <laughs> that thing is awesome. It's inspirational. Uh, so anyways, uh, thanks for watching. 100 subscribers. <laughs> That's cool. That's a milestone for us. Uh, so thank you to our subscribers and our viewers. Uh, we appreciate your support and your comments. Uh, we really enjoy it. Um, I will tell you, fun fact, the, the 100th subscriber uh, was Rodney uh, from the 5 Tussin channel. So that's really cool. You know, if we were legit, we'd send you a prize, but, you know, we're small and <laughs> extremely low budget. Uh, but anyways, I want to thank all our subscribers, uh, all our viewers. Uh, we really enjoy... Um, See in the corner of my hand. The heck, I got distracted. ADD, whatever. Anyways, uh, we appreciate y'all. Uh, we really enjoy your comments. Um, so please feel free to add into it. Uh, one of my favorite things about going to the track is hanging out with other people that like cars. Uh, so uh, this is kind of an extension to that. You know, YouTube is kind of like virtual staging lanes or the, you know hanging out in the pits. So please uh, feel free to comment. We we enjoy it. We like the back and forth. Um, thanks for watching and thanks for joining us. We have more content coming. Uh, just stay tuned.